Morning. <clears throat> I'm about to embark on another project here with the Baja. <clears throat> um, doing a six speed swap with the uh, STI engine crossover, uh, control arms, steering rack. Uh, this six speed came out of my 2005 STI that I parted out. It had uh, 68,000 miles on it, or 67,000 miles on it at the time. Uh, good, good donor transmission. Uh, Exidy HD clutch, uh, lightened flywheel to go with that. There's a power steering pump that I'm going to use off my 05 STI because the one on the Baja is starting to make silly noises. And we got this setup that I mocked up yesterday. It's the R180 rear diff, and I took the OEM Subaru uh, diff guard. Let's see if I have paperwork for it here. Yeah. Differential protector. I took that, and I had to modify it up here for the cross members. Uh, different mounting position on the Baja rather than having it on an STI. This is just a mock-up. As you can see, I'm going to have to put some washers and whatnot here to get everything spaced out correctly, but uh, it's all trimmed up and ready to go in. Um, what I've got here is a big mess. Got a brand new drive shaft. That drive shaft is a uh, fitment for a 2005 Baja Turbo Automatic. Um, it's actually an aftermarket drive shaft. It's a Dorman one. It's got Zerk fittings on uh, all the U joint parts so you can regrease it. And the thickness of the drive shaft is exactly the same as the STI. The OEM ones are a little bit skinnier. So uh, the legacy board guys say that this is a good drive shaft to go with. And then. Uh, OEM Legacy Spec B axles for the rear. The, the uh, Legacy boards say that these bolt right in to the R180, which I already verified, and uh, the hub on 5x100 vehicles. Now, I think the Baja spline count on... Uh, this end right here that goes into the hub might be different so I might have to tap these off and swap them out with the Baja ones but the actual shaft is the same thickness and uh, it goes into the R180 just fine so we'll see my goal for today oh it's about 7 a.m. by the way yeah a little bit after 7 it's raining out here in Portland, and I'm going to get this uh, up on jack stands, but this is going to be the last time that you'll see the 5-speed in the STI. Uh, I'm going to drop the entire front subframe and motor and everything out of it, and uh, that way I can just pull it into the garage, do whatever work I need to do to get all the other parts bolted up, and then pull it back out here and lift it back into it. So, anyhow... That's kind of what it looks like right now, and uh, I'll do another video when I make some progress here. Of course, i got to get the light and the winch bar off first, which is attached to pretty much everything under the frame. So, But anyhow, I'll start up another video here in a bit. Catch you guys later. Okay, we're back. Looks like it's about 11 o'clock. Started at 7 this morning. And I've got the Baja broken down to pull the entire front sub. So, this is how it sits right now. Nothing in the way there. Nothing in the way there. Nothing connected. Uh, should come out all in one assembly. There's only six bolts. Six bolts and six nuts holding this on. So, actually no, I take that back, there's eight, four on each side. Two on the control arms and, and two on the engine crossover. Um, underneath, I took everything out. It's kind of dark in there, but drive shaft, exhaust, all that stuff's gone. Uh, 
I have a new goal for today. I want to get the the rear diff pulled too, and I could probably get a, the R180 put in. Uh, it just depends on time. I'm gonna stay out here probably till five o'clock and then call it quits for the day. But first off, I'm gonna pull the whole front subframe out here, and uh, I'll come back with another video when that's all done. All right. Okay, here we are back, and it's almost 12.30, and lo and behold, got it out. It came out pretty easy. Um, car is pretty much gutted. Um, time to clean it up, and uh, start installing some of the STI stuff on the body like the clutch cylinder and uh, the uh, gotta wire up the six pin plug to the transmission and I'm gonna get the rear diff out today too so I already drained it and it's just being held in by two bolts right now so should come out pretty easy and then maybe I'll rebuild the rear end today get the rear diff in and then that part's done, then I just gotta concentrate on the front part of the motor tomorrow in the garage. Anyhow, making some good progress. And I'll check back at the end of the day with another video. Alright, bye. Alright, I'm back. Uh, 10 minutes to 2. Got the rear diff out. Rear axles. Uh, Got the R180 sitting here ready to be rebuilt and I need to test fit these axles. Hopefully the splines on the uh, outside match up with the hubs that I have. But yeah, that's it. Uh, I've stripped out everything I want to. And that's kind of how it sits. Pretty much a bare nothing. That mines bar is a pain in the ass to put on. I don't know if I'm going to put that back on or not. Anyhow, that's where it's at. I just need to clean up the engine bay a bit. I put some RTV on uh, the um, center diff wires I had to run out for the DCCD Pro. And uh, I'm going to start changing some of this stuff out tomorrow. But uh, the rest of the day, it's raining out pretty hard, so this day I'm just going to be in the garage there tearing stuff apart. Big old mess of stuff to rebuild right there, and uh, that's what I'll be doing. All right, bye. All right, it's 10 to 6. Um, basically, I spent the last couple of hours building these rear axles. After looking at everything and the way it was set up, uh, the Legacy Spec V axles that's the outside end and there's no ABS ring on it so I ended up taking the Baja axles and the legacy spec B inside joint right there so you got Baja end here Baja shaft and legacy spec B inner and I actually had to take the the race ring and all that stuff out took the whole thing apart took the whole thing apart and uh, broke it all the way down to the ball bearings because none of those splines matched up on either shaft so I have two working rear shafts now although they're just the standard Baja ones so I may experiment later with some thicker STI shafts and see what I what I can swap around but for right now I think this was my only option and uh, I did get the R180 rear diff I swapped out the uh, R160 uh, plate right there so it'll match up to the drive shaft rather than monkey around with the U-joint on the STI drive shaft and then tomorrow morning I'm going to um, get all this assembled and put it in the car uh, the, the rear differential I guess is what I'm saying and I'm tired anyhow 
Uh, I guess that's it for today. Started at 7. It's uh, about 6 o'clock right now. And uh, get the rear diff in tomorrow and then start tearing this apart and putting that into this. So it should be entertaining. Anyhow, day one is done. STI Baja Swap.